job that's a lot of fun though and that is that you go to Camp David and what I've been doing up in Camp David is picking up acorns and I've got a big bag of acorns in the desk drawer there and every morning when I come down I put a few handfuls out there on, on the porch outside and the squirrels come up and get the acorns and take them out and bury them with the, when they need them later on. Well won't you all come Let those men 
who were going to be in command and responsible for the mission, or not have us civilians back there looking over their shoulders telling them what to do. And I said, they're in charge, and we're not going to second guess them. And they made the decision. I think it was a right one. Well, thank you very much. Well, I thank you very much. I'm assuming you're your visit. Nothing is clear residential. See you. Well, thanks. Now, this is kind of a second home. Second home. Now, Dr. Davis and I have to inform the Royal Order of Oils, but we're keen about the name, so we never got around to do it. Well, thanks. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And thanks for all the support. <laughs> well, I think the first time I met her some several years ago in England before she was Prime Minister, we discovered that we had the same approach to economics. Because you are the two hopes for the future of mankind. <laughs> well, bless you. Thank you very much. Just encourage me to tell me once again that I shouldn't raise taxes until <laughs> we're out of this recession. Well, I don't know. The military problem will be more important than the others. I have to admit it. If you had a free hand, I would be against it, but maybe the armament is more important. Oh, well, then I have to deal with it. That becomes necessary. Yes, I, I know that. We're not going to let up on that. Well, it's been a well, for me. I should remember that a long time to have had this opportunity. And they give me a sort of souvenir pair of cufflinks with the presidential oh, well, seal. Yes, this is a good one. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. well, Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Nice to see you as always. Professor was telling me the car coming over that the uh, first president we met was Calvin McCool, 60 years ago to the month. <laughs> well, then you might be interested to in know what they told me when I moved in here that in the cabinet, yeah. as the incumbent president, I could choose the presidents whose uh, portraits would be on the wall. There's only room for a few in there. And the one of the first I chose to work there was Calvin Coolidge. You know, you may be interested in your part as Calvin Coolidge then received the whole of the American Economic Association. The poor man stood there shaking hands, 400 people in one afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, uh, I like, I think that, I, I think he's been probably one of the most misunderstood and I least appreciated. Well, he's being rediscovered, I just so yes. Yes that there's a brilliant history of the last 80 years by a man called Paul Johnson in London. And he has discovered, among other things, the merits of Calvin Coolidge. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, my own AB degree was in economics. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I continued my studies by reading you. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. We're bringing the front door in here, but look at the time that we've set up here. Do you want to identify which ones you want to come in with? There's just four of them, but it's not. Well, I, I saw four, okay. Yeah, I set up for it. So you can kind of take your seat. Yeah, we'll see if you can bring it up. You take the four you want to bring it up. Well, I appreciate all the 
support you given all of you on the, on the crime bill very much. Mr. President, we wanted to uh, talk to you today about the crime bill. Our association uh, supports the majority of the bill, especially the bail reform, bail reform uh, sections and the sentencing reform and the forfeiture provisions. And we're particularly interested in the uh, Justice Assistance Act provision because that will enable the states to do uh, work uh, in our own localities uh, uh, with those programs, those crime programs that have been so very successful in the past, like uh, crime prevention and, um, and uh, uh, repeat offenders and those kinds of things. Uh, we could certainly use that Justice Assistance Act money for, uh, for our programs. Uh, we also uh, are very appreciative of the federal-state relations that we've enjoyed, especially with the drug task forces that uh, are now